The reason controlling blood sugars is so important in insulin levels is because as blood sugar levels even slightly increase, that increases the risk of heart disease. The real difference between prediabetes and diabetes is not just that prediabetes means you're at risk of developing diabetes, which is certainly true, but it, it also is important to know that prediabetes already places you at serious risk of heart disease. A large share of the heart disease risk associated with diabetes already occurs in prediabetes. The, the, again, the difference then from prediabetes to diabetes is that now you're adding the additional polyopathies or pathologies of blindness, nerve damage, amputation, and kidney failure. So, so clearly there's a continuum there that we want to gradually drop down to optimal. But so if the blood sugars are slightly elevated, what happens is that when we take food in, it quickly shoots our blood sugar up. The pancreas makes 5, 10, 20 times more insulin than it should have to. And what does insulin do? It stores sugar and fat. And it stores that sugar into fat. And it prevents your body from using your fat stores when you're hungry. So now your body says, hey, I need something. And, this, and the insulin says, well, you're not using any of this fat because I might need this tomorrow. There might be a famine across the land, and I need to have this and keep it in check. Exactly what we don't want to happen. And so if we are concerned about our ability to effectively lose weight or lower those triglyceride blood fats or lower the blood sugar levels into a more optimal range, we need to pay attention to this principle. 